Hello guys, and welcome to the second part of my playthrough of Bloodborne at 60fps. So in this one we take on the first uh, boss of the game that we encounter, and that is uh, Father Gascoigne. Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them, sooner or later. <sighs> yeah, and this fight is of course pretty tough uh, for an early fight, which in it kind of sets up the far more aggressive um, tone of combat in Bloodborne. And I think the best strategy here is to die immediately. <laughs> yeah, in my first attempt here I did die, but I do give it another go in just a bit. Hello, I, Honourable Hunter. Pursue the echoes of blood. And I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts. And I will be here for you. To embolden your sickly spirit. Very well. Let me stand close. Farewell, good... Yeah, so for this commentary I might include some strategy tips on how I dealt with some of the bosses. I actually managed to get through the majority of the bosses with reasonable ease, but um, there are definitely some bosses that are very challenging in this game. And I think the key with Favor Gascoigne is basically just to yeah, just be aware of the tombstones um, that are around you. And also just try and get a few, if you can, try and get some pistol parries off so you can actually do some visceral damage. Oh, what's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me it's enough to make a man sick. As for the second phase where he turns into a beast, what I found was a good way to deal with him was to give him the run around, you know, going up the stairs, jump onto the rooftop and drop down again and just kind of run along through the graveyards and go up the stairs. Yeah, so what I do at this point is um, actually get some Molotov cocktails and when Father Gascoigne kind of gets to the corner of the bottom of the stairs, so as you see me here I'm standing a certain point on the staircase. So what you do then is you can just throw a few Molotovs at him and uh, they should damage him and that should be enough to actually finish him off. And this is makes it a bit easier to actually end the fight.
Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up, waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. Screams of women folk. Yarnum's done for, I tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden chap. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. Most of the holy chalices, and the few that found their way to the surface, were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remained one of the... Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned, the perfect...
You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Oh, very good. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. There must be... Go on. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral, and that if you seek... Vogenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church, and in this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. I bid you farewell. May the good blood guide your way.
So that's it for this episode, guys. In the next episode, I cover the Cleric Beast boss fight and also do a bit more exploring of Cathedral Ward. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.